in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And Glenn and myself, Teresa, we're here to bring you the presence of Jesus. And we are happy and excited about it. Are you happy too? Are you excited too? Because whenever you dream of happiness, do you know that you are dreaming of Jesus Christ? Whenever any child, anyone dreams of perfect happiness, they are dreaming of Jesus Christ. And when we are with Jesus Christ, everything boring becomes exciting. Everything that we do over and over again in our lives, that we're so used to doing, that we're tired of doing sometimes, also becomes exciting. Hallelujah. 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 The book of Sirach tells us in chapter 43 verses 28 onwards, where can we find the strength to praise God? For he is greater than all his works. Terrible is the Lord and very great and marvelous is his power. And when you praise the Lord, exalt him as much as you can. For he will surpass even that. When you exalt him, put forth all your strength and do not grow weary for you cannot praise him enough. And so the scripture tells us we cannot praise God enough. And so all that we can use to give him praise brings glory to his name. He is glorified and the world comes to know of his power. And today we want you to join us as we sing these words, as we sing this from our heart and we want to Exalt and lift the name of Jesus above every other name. Clap your hands and join along with us. Do not grow weary in praising the Lord. Do not grow weary in praising the Lord. For you cannot praise a man of it all your life. Summon all your strength to praise the Lord. Exalt His name with all your might. Praise Him in the morning, in the morning till the evening light. Praise Him at everything that has breath. Praise, praise Him. Come on, everybody, make a joyful noise. Praise Him. Come on, everybody, lift your voice. Glorify the Lord. He is all. Sing it out. Glorify Him. Glorify the Lord. He is all. He is all. Over all the earth He reigns. He is all. Every tribe. Every tribe and nation praise He is all. All who call upon His name. All who call upon His name. He is all. Jesus. Jesus Christ remains the same. Exalt him as he is. Awesome is the Lord and very great. Praise him in the morning, in the morning till the evening light. Praise him. Everything that everything that has breath. Praise. Praise him. Come on, everybody, make a joyful noise. Praise him. Come on, everybody, lift your voice. Glorify the Lord. He is all. Lift your hands with us. Glorify the Lord. He is all. Glorify the Lord. He is all. Glorify the Lord. He is all. He's above everyone. 
in this world. Glorify the Lord. He is all. He is the beginning and the end. Glorify the Lord. He is all. He is the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Glorify the Lord. He is all. He is the architect of the universe. Glorify the Lord. He is all. He is my brother King. He is all. Tribe and nation praise. He is all to all who call upon his name. He is all Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ remains the same. He is all over all the earth. He reigns. He is all. Tribe and nation praise. He is all. Jesus Christ remains the same. He is all. Jesus. Jesus Christ remains the same. He is all. Jesus. Jesus Christ remains the same. He is all. Jesus Christ remains the same. Hallelujah. Did you know that there is a ladder that will take us to heaven? Did you know that there is such a ladder? And do you know the name of this ladder? The name of this ladder is called the cross. And this ladder has many steps, many rungs. And do you know the name of the first step of this ladder, one and only ladder that takes us to heaven? And the first step, the name of the first step of this ladder is called obedience. To obey, to say yes to what is told to you. And we know that this ladder that takes us to heaven is a ladder that makes us perfect because to go to heaven, you have to be perfect. I have to be perfect. And when we step on the first ladder called obedience, we are able to climb higher and higher and higher and higher. But if you do not climb on the first step called obedience. Then you cannot climb higher and higher. You cannot go nearer and nearer to God. Today, God wants you to step on this ladder. Are you ready, mustard kids, to step on this ladder? Then be ready to step on obedience. And today, I want to tell you about a saint called Saint Rita. Are any of your names Rita? Do you have your sisters by the name Rita? Is your mother's name Rita? You have your aunt's name Rita? Well then, you have something to tell them about the life of Saint Rita. Are you ready to listen to the life of Saint Rita? How she was obedient. When Saint Rita joined the convent, where the nuns lived. The superioress wanted to test her obedience. The superior wanted to see whether she would obey. So the superior told her to, commanded her and told her, go and water that plant in the convent garden. And the plant the superior asked her to water was a plant that had withered away. It had dried away and now that plant was dead. It was completely dead and the superior was asking her, commanding her to go and water that plant that is dead. Imagine, my dear little friends, if 
you are asked to water your ruler, your wooden ruler, the wooden scale that you have. If someone asks you to water that wooden scale, if someone asks you to water this particular branch that you have here, it was a branch, it was part of the tree, now it is the leg of this table. It is dead, it is dead. Now if you are asked to water this particular stick here, would you do it? Would you do it? And Saint Rita did not even say a word. Every day she would go with the water and she would water that particular plant that was dead like this stick. Every day for one whole year she watered this plant that was as dead as the stick here. She watered it day after day she watered it and not a word of murmur came out of her mouth to show that what she was doing was useless not even a word of complaint came out from her mouth to tell others what she was doing was useless yes she knew only a miracle from god could revive that particular dead withered plant only god could work a miracle and revive it and she would go day after day she was obedient and do you know what happened after one whole year of watering a dead stick like that it revived and suddenly it put forth leaves it put forth beautiful flowers and do you know what that plant became the most beautiful plant in that convent garden and everyone including the superior all the other sisters were amazed and astonished how can such a dead plant come up this dead stick come up and have flowers this is what god will do for those who obey did you remember the last time you found it difficult to obey when your father asked you to go to bed early and you wanted to play on your Game Boy, you wanted to do those video games and you found it so difficult to obey your father? The last time your mommy asked you to come and help wash the dishes in the kitchen when you preferred to go down and play with your friends, you found it difficult to obey. When your teacher told you to keep silent during the class time and you waited for the teacher to write something on the board and when her back was turned to you, you turned, you spoke to your friend sitting beside you and you disobeyed your teacher. Your teacher didn't see you, but who saw you? Your God. Your God has eyes, able to see everything. God has ears, is able to hear everything. And who was sad was your God. Because he wants you to step on that ladder. The first step of that ladder being obedience. And only if you obey in small little things can you obey even greater things. And so my dear friends, I ask you now to keep both your hands open. And close your eyes and into your little hands, into your little palms that looks like a dish. Put into this dish all the difficulty you have with obeying your parents who want you to study for two hours during your vacation time and you find that so difficult. Put that into the little dish of your hands. Because Jesus is going to pick everything you put into this little dish of your hands. Everything that you find difficult to obey. When you are asked to sleep in the night, when your parents tuck you up in bed and ask you to go to sleep early and to be silent, you continue to giggle. You continue to shout to the other. Put that into the dish. Everything you find difficult to obey. The last time you said a lie 
because you found it difficult to obey God's word in the Bible telling you not to lie, that God hates liars. And so you said a lie, put it into the dish and lift it up to Jesus and tell Jesus, take everything that I've put into this dish and teach me how to obey. Give me the courage to obey and pray for all your little friends all throughout the world. So children all throughout the world will be obedient to Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus, see your little children lifting up their hands, lifting up their hearts to you. And Jesus, take away every reason, every difficulty they have in them to be disobedient. And Jesus, make them obedient as you were an obedient child to Mary, your mother, and Joseph, your father, in Nazareth. Jesus, we make this prayer in your precious and sweet name. Amen. We are ever obedient to you, Jesus. your head. So let's nod your head like this. This is a sign of saying yes to the Lord. I'll say yes, Lord. So you make an L with your hands for Lord. I'll say yes, Lord, yes, to your will and to your way. I'll say yes, Lord, yes. And for the actions of I will trust you and obey, you hold your hand against your heart and you bend down telling the Lord yes this way I will trust you and obey when your spirit like a tornado when your spirit speaks to me speaks do it this way speaks to me when your spirit speaks to me with my whole heart I'll agree this is a big yes and my answer will be yes lord yes did you get it some of these actions that we just showed you were taught to us by the youth in hong kong we had gone there glenn and myself and father augustine we went there to hong kong it was a retreat for those who were specially abled so many of them there came in wheelchairs some of them were deaf, some of them were dumb, and some of them were blind. And the message of Jesus is meant for the whole world, even for those who are blind, deaf, dumb, and lame. And so the message has to get across to them. So even if they cannot hear, the message gets across to them that Jesus is Lord. 
Jesus is the one who saves and we do it through actions, through sign language, like this is Jesus, this is Lord. So these are sign languages. So even the deaf can understand this language. And when we had this retreat for them, it was in the open air for five days. By the end of the retreat, two of them got up from their wheelchairs and began to walk. Let's give a mighty clap to Jesus. Wherever Jesus is proclaimed, wherever the life, passion, death and resurrection of Jesus Christ is, pro is proclaimed all over the world, in any part of the world, it is confirmed with miracles as the lame walking, the blind seeing, the deaf being able to hear, the dumb being able to speak. And today, to this Jesus we say, I agree that you are Lord. Are you ready? So join us with the actions. I say yes, Lord, yes, to your will and to your way. I say yes. Lord, yes, I will trust you and obey When your spirit speaks to me With my whole heart I'll agree And my answer will be yes, Lord, yes I'll say yes, Lord, yes To 